Roblox is dry is something I think we'd all agree with. YouTubers certainly do. And I must say, it's not hard to think so when we're spoon-fed games like Edge Mogger and Looks Maxing Simulator over and over and over and over again. But today, I gathered seven underrated Roblox games to prove this wrong, with much help from the Roblox Underrated Games Discord server, linked in description. Anyways, without further ado, the first game is... Prank Your Mom by Egg Games Group. This game is similar to the Get games, but with a unique feature. What is this unique feature, you may ask? Your mom likes to roleplay as Rambo. Oh, no. Shut up! The endings in this game are quite fun to get, and I got around half of the boasted 35 endings, so here's a few to give you a taste of the game. Credit card. I have a credit card. Let's go. Let's go to the computer with the credit card. Hold on. Use credit card. Let's go. I'll just donate this to some charity or something. No, PS5. All right, done. Mom is broke now. Behind you. Uh, hi, Mom. It says here on my phone, hey, you are broke. Did you make me broke? Die. <laughs> cupcake. Mmm, tasty. Maybe I should go to the computer after eating a cupcake. Hello there. Would you like to meet up? <laughs> nope, don't want to meet you. <laughs> I got cupcakes. I also know where you live. I don't want to meet you, like, at all. I'm outside your house. Just check your windows. What's your problem? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Oopsies, oh my gosh. Ah. What was the point of that? Um, 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 uh, my finger slipped? I have to take care of you every day, and this is how you repay me? Oh, uh, yes, I repay you with humor. You treat me like garbage. Wow, shut up. I highly recommend trying this game. The humor is on point, and while it looks like a polished turd sometimes, it oozes with personality and soul that many games lack nowadays. The game gets around 250 to 350 players, and honestly, the quality matches that. It might be cool if you haven't heard of it though. Glare by Official Glare. Glare surprisingly stands out amongst the plethora of Roblox FPS games. Glare nails its arcade-style gameplay and has seemingly endless gun customization, giving you the ability to make your guns blessed, cursed, or blursed. The time to kill is nicely balanced in my opinion, opting for a faster kill time. However, it doesn't feel so fast that getting kills hinges on who sees each other first, but it also isn't so slow that I feel like I'm aging as I shoot. Not to mention the guns, while few, are also, in my opinion, incredibly balanced. But instead of reviewing them, I'll just show you a quick montage to give you a taste of the glory. overall are very fun to use and balance each other out very well and are complemented quite nicely by the stupendously extensive customization through skins, attachments, and perks. As for the grenades, the frag still frags, the smoke still smokes, and the flashbangs are still brighter than my future. Not much of note here. Glare, similarly to Call of Duty, also has kill streaks. my personal favorite being the extra health. For some smaller things I like, the spectate feature is neat. Now that's all the pros I have for the game, so here are the cons. Firstly, the UI feels like a terrible early 2000s flash game, and to me looks very unpolished. Secondly, the gun customization is extremely confusing at first. I watched a person who's never played the game before spend almost two minutes figuring out how to literally put a scope on a sniper. Lastly, the maps aren't the best. The maps are fine, but they're just a bit bland and boring. The gameplay alone carries this weight though. But beyond that, Glare's actually super impressive for only being an alpha and receiving frequent updates, so I have no doubt that all of these issues will be fixed at some point. Glare gets between 100 and 200 players, and personally, I think that at its current stage, it deserves around 10,000. BOMBLINE by BOMBLINE! Bombline is another FPS game, except this one is tailored more for Counter-Strike and Search and Destroy players. It features the same terrorism We are planting the bomb. Oh bro, I wanted to shout Elohu Akbar. And anti-terrorism Defuse, no Elohu Akbar for you.
that is in CSGO. Or should I say CS2? The game feels more like Search and Destroy to me than Counter-Strike, but that's because the game plays like Call of Duty. Rather than the extreme precision of Counter-Strike, Bombline instead opts for a much more arcadey feel akin to Call of Duty. Personally, I find this to be much more enjoyable because it makes the gameplay much faster paced. This fantastic gameplay is only accentuated by the two game modes, 6v6 and 12v12. 6v6 offers a normal, grounded, and reasonable experience, while 12v12 is extremely chaotic and at times more enjoyable. Boom, headshot. <laughs> Boom, headshot. Occasionally, very occasionally, there will be a round modifier. I got knives only in RPGs only when I played. Um. Oh. Uh. Plus, each time you switch sides, you pick a perk that modifies or buffs your character. It happens three times per match, and yes, they do stack. The 20 plus guns featured in Bombline are very fun to use. Though at this point in time, you don't actually buy them. You just get a randomized loadout each round. So rather than reviewing the guns, just go play Bombline now and experience them yourself. This does, however, come with its downsides, mostly the fact that you literally cannot choose your loadout. So if you get something you don't like, you'd better get used to it. The guns also often come with random attachments such as suppressors, scopes, and alternate ammo types. On top of everything I've already said, Bombline also supports partying so you can play with those friends that you don't even have. And interestingly enough, Bombline also has voice acting. We have eliminated the enemy force. All of this in a package that is pre-alpha. I repeat, this game is in pre-alpha. Even in its pre-alpha state, Bombline has gameplay and polish that rivals even the best of Roblox FPS games. Bombline is sure to be one of the, if not the Roblox FPS game ever if they keep up the work. Bombline only gets 50 to 200 players, and I personally think it deserves 50k or more. Wave Dash by Idot Studios. Wave Dash is a charming and challenging height-based side-scrolling platformer. A what? A vastly unexplored genre on Roblox. Wave Dash delivers an enjoyable platform experience similar to Celeste. The main ability in Wave Dash is, well, dashing. Wave Dash makes wise use of the dashing ability to give the game an extreme but fun challenge. And I mean it when I say challenge. For example, there's one section where you have to travel vertically through a series of saws. There's a point at which you need to change direction to cling to the wall on the left, and it is practically impossible to do so. There are many more challenges along the way, which only add to the fun and rage of the game. The devs do, however, acknowledge the difficulty of this game in the description, so hopefully that's a band-aid over your wounds. Despite the difficulty, I completed what they have made so far in Wave Dash, but there is more to come. Wave Dash seems to take most of its gameplay cues from Celeste and the sound and visuals from Sonic and Super Mario. Plus, the in-game music is fire. It's been playing in the background over this section. I highly recommend playing Wave Dash, especially if you've played games like Ball and Axe or anything similar. Wave Dash will give an adequate challenge. Challenge. Wave Dash gets between 10 and 50 players, and I think it deserves at least a thousand. Super Poly by Is Master Roblox. Super Poly is an immaculate 3D platformer that takes much inspiration from the 3D Mario games, notably Super Mario Galaxy and Sunshine. Super Poly could honestly stand alone as an indie game. It's literally that good. Super Poly has a fantastic OST, which is playing in the background. Super Poly so far has two worlds with a third in the works. Riddled across these worlds and even in the lobby are a plethora of secrets seemingly revealing hidden lore, which makes me wonder when we'll get ROBLOX THEORY. The only problem though is that Super Poly is a game made completely in a Minecraft enchanting table. Even though most text prompts are translated, they're a bit finicky and many of the text prompts for the secret areas do not seem to be translated. There's not much more that I can say about Super Poly without going into depth that would deserve its own video, except that the game is incredibly well developed and deserves a multitude of players, if only it was in English. Super Poly averages zero players, and I think it easily warrants at least 100,000. Listen to music over your mom and dad arguing by Joshua Schwag, Mark II. Relatable. Just like me, for real. Unorthodox Accounting by Project Quantum Quest.
I like this game because only the knives matter. Man, I love curb stomping police. This game single-handedly elevated my desire to evade taxes. I don't care who the IRS sends, I am not paying taxes. With smart use of high recoil pistol and a shotgun you stole from your dad, you can kill the entire police force. 100. And three. With some TLC, this game could be good enough to be on the FBI wanted list. If only this game had more than zero players, then everyone would do this in real life. This game deserves more attention from the police force. And lastly, we have... Bye? Well, I guess that's it. I hope this short foray into the depths of underrated Roblox games has given you the drive to find some of your own, or just steal mine. Let me know if you want a sequel in the comments, or if you'd like me to make videos playing underrated games in the future. With all that out of the way, I'll see all you peeps later.